Hey guys, this is Ed Herzog, and today we're going to take a look at Jet Menu by Crackleblock. Jet Menu is a plugin that you can use along with Elementor to create some really, really amazing mega menus. You can use it to create horizontal menus, vertical menus, hamburger menus, whatever you like. Plus, you get tons and tons of styling options to customize the look of your mega menus. And you can pull in any content from Elementor, including dynamic content, and put it into your mega menu. So let's take a look and see what you can create with Jet Menu by Crackleblock. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you some examples of what you can create with Jet Menu. So here we see some examples of the horizontal menu. So here is a shop. So you see all these products listed here blog with blog posts, multimedia with videos, contacts with different ways to contact your company, and some lists. And these are just examples of types of content that you can include in your mega menu with Jet Menu. And you can see also here some styling options, different icons, uh, different colors here. You have these updated and trending. So a lot of different options that you can put within your mega menu using Jet Menu. Next, let's take a look at a vertical menu. So again, right here you see lists, shop, multimedia, blog, and contacts. And again, you're seeing some styling options here they've made in terms of setting up this demonstration. And again, these are just some examples of content and styling options you have within Jet Menu. Finally, let's take a look at a hamburger menu, which is generally best on mobile, but it could be used on desktop as well. So I'll click here. And you see that this opens up here from the side. And so again, you're seeing shop, blog, multimedia, portfolio, portfolio, contacts, and lists. And then I can then come over here to this arrow and click on that. And now I have some options within the shop, notebooks, computers, smartphones, TV. If I click here, then I see that these different products load up for me to take a look at. So uh, again, these are some really nice options. You're seeing that you can create some very beautiful and very functional mega menus using the Jet Menu plugin by Crackleblock. Now, with Jet Menu, you have two ways of styling your mega menus. The first way is if you're using a menu that was created via your theme. If you're doing that, you want to come over here to Crackleblock and then come here to Dashboard. And then come here to Jet Menu and go to Settings. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single one of these settings here. What I want you to see here is that you have a lot of different options for styling your mega menu with Jet Menu. Now, this again is the way if you're using a menu created by your theme. So you have some general settings here. You have your desktop menu settings. And you know here, look at all these different options, all these different styling options that Jet Menu gives you desktop menu items. Again, I'm not gonna go through every single one of these. I'm just giving you an idea of the flexibility of this plugin and what you can create. Again, those are a lot of options. Desktop advanced. A few items there and then final mo mobile menu. So you can see here that you have a lot of options. And again, if I want to expand one of these, you're going to get you know, sub options for each one of these. So uh, just a lot, a lot of different options for setting up mega menus and make them really nice. Again, those examples I showed you when I first started this video, those look just very professional, very eye-catching. And so, you know, again, a lot of options here for setting up your mega menu. Now, the other way to style your mega menu using Jet Menu is a more traditional way in which people tend to work in Elementor with, with dragging and dropping widgets into a page that is created with Elementor. Now, you have three different widgets that you get with Jet Menu. So I'm just going to type in menu here. And this one here that says mega menu is the horizontal menu. This vertical mega menu is the vertical one. And then here you have this one here that says hamburger menu, which is obviously the hamburger menu. So let's start by taking a look at the mega menu, at the horizontal menu. Now, these are widgets just like any other widget that you have access to within Elementor. So I can drag and drop these 
wherever I want within the page. Now, normally you'd want to put this up in your header, but again, if you want to put it somewhere else, you have that option. And in my case, I have access here to Elementor Pro and the theme builder that comes with Elementor Pro. So I would want to take this and incorporate it within this header that I've created in the theme builder. Now, in this case, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up the header on my existing page here, on my existing website. So I'm going to just take this and drop it right there. And there we have it. And now we can start styling this. So here I have some general options that allows me to select the menu that I want to use, both for desktop and mobile, and then the device view where I want these to display relative to mobile and desktop. Then here I have options for setting up the mobile layout. Now when I click on this here, it's going to switch over to the hamburger icon right over there. And then I have a lot of different options. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of these because there are so many. If I went through every single one, this video would probably be close to an hour long. And I don't think anybody wants to see that. So, but you know, you can see here, you've got options for layout, toggle position, container position, uh, show submenu trigger, show submenu layout, close after navigation, uh, some more there. I item icon visible, item badge visible, item description visible. And you're getting a sense here as to the power of this tool and the flexibility of this tool to really design this the way you want it to look. Uh, so again, a lot of different options here for the mobile layout. Then if we come here to the styling, you're going to see the same thing. There are are a ton of options for styling this again to make it look the way you want this is just kind of getting mostly copied over from the general layout that i have there but uh you know again you have options here within the desktop container for styling desktop menu items desktop sub menu desktop item icon desktop item badge desktop item drop down mobile toggle mobile container mobile items and mobile advanced so all of these, you know, I click on that and, you know, I've got individual things for styling that. Uh, and again, once I click on something that, related to the, that is related to the mobile, it switches over to the hamburger item right there. Um, you know, mobile container, I've got those. I come back here, desktop menu item. Again, a lot of different options here for styling this the way I want it to look. And again, options for normal, hover, active, etc. Again, a lot of uh, power, a lot of flexibility with this tool. So let's take a look at the vertical mega menu. And again, I can drag and drop this wherever I want within the page, or I can, you know, again, incorporate it into the theme builder if, if I have, you know, if you have access to Elementor Pro. Uh, but for now, let's just drop that right there. And I have to select my menu first. And there I have it. There I have a vertical menu. Now, here again, I have settings. I can put it right side, left side, and then some options here for animation. But the power again comes from the styling. So again, I have stylings for the main menu, stylings for the mega menu, stylings for the sub menu, for the main menu items, for the sub menu items for the icon, for the badge, and for the drop-down icon. And again, every single one of these, I click on it, and I have a lot of sub-options. And again, options for normal, hover, active. And again, you're seeing that there's just a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can design your mega menus and the, you know, the display of them, the look of them, the feel of them. Just a lot of flexibility, a lot of power in the Jet Menu tool. So let's take a look at the hamburger menu. And again, this is drag drop. I can put it wherever I want. Again, I'll just drop it right there. And I need to select a menu. And now I have this hamburger menu right there. And now I have a lot of design options again, a lot of display options. So again, I select my menu. I have different layout, toggle position, container position, Submenu trigger, submenu layout, uh, close after navigation, uh, item icon visible, item badge visible, etc. In here under content, uh, I have other options: uh, toggle close state icon, toggle open state icon, toggle text, container close icon, etc. A lot of different options for setting up this hamburger menu. And then come over to style, and once again, I have options here for the toggle, for the container for the items, 
and then a few things here for advanced. So again, I can really make this look and feel the way that I want to. By the way, in case you're wondering what the difference is between the hamburger menu here and the one that we saw here over in this mega menu, the, the horizontal menu, from what I can tell the difference is this. If you only want to use a hamburger menu, you, want, you use this one here. If you want to use both the horizontal menu plus a hamburger menu, you can use this one here. From what I can tell, the hamburger menus from both those options, both this one here as well as this one here, have the same options in terms of styling and other setup features. So there's really no difference between them. It just depends on what you want to put on your page. Now, one thing you might be wondering is where does Jet Menu pull the actual menu from? How do I set that up? Well, regardless of which of the two methods you use, whether you use that first method that I showed you where you're tied in to a menu that comes from your theme, or if you use that second method I, that I showed you where you're actually dragging and dropping widgets onto a page built in Elementor, you have to set up the menu here within your WordPress dashboard. That is absolutely 100% normal. That's how you set up any menu, whether it's, uh, again, whether it's via your theme or via Elementor, you have to do it here within your WordPress dashboard. So go, you go to Appearance and then Menus. And here you'll see your different menus here. And let me just select my main one. I have no idea why I have it called blank, but that's what it's called. Wait for that to load up. And here you see my menu. Now, here's the interesting thing. So. Once I start scrolling over these individual items that I've already put within my menu and my menu structure, you see this thing that says Jet Menu. I click on that, and now I get brought to these different styling options. So I can style within here. But more importantly, I can edit the content. So I click on that right there, wait for this to load up, and now I can create what I want to display for that particular menu item right here. And I can drag in anything from Elementor right in here. And then that also allows me to pull in dynamic content. And so this is how you get some of the things I showed you at the very beginning, blog posts, videos, etc. things that you might not typically see within a menu. I can set that all up right here by dragging and dropping Elementor widgets into this space right here and then tying them back into the, into the menu. Okay, so this is the power of Jet Menu, is it ties directly into the actual page building capabilities of Elementor, which gives you access to content that you typically would not have access to putting within your menus. So let's take a look at your options for buying the Jet Menu plugin. So here you can see that you have three options. You can buy it for a single site for $24 a year, unlimited websites is $49 a year, and then in a set with other plugins, starting at $80 a year. And all these options here come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So that gives you an overview of what you can create with Jet Menu. As we saw, Jet Menu gives you a lot of flexibility to create and style mega menus the way that you want to. And Jet Menu comes at a very minimal price, backed by great customer service and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're looking for a mega menu plugin that you can use with Elementor, then Jet Menu is one that I highly recommend that you take a look at. By the way, I will put my link to Jet Menu in the video description below. If you buy Jet Menu via my link, I'll receive a small commission, which enables me to continue to create 100% free content. Also, if you have any questions at all about Jet Menu before you buy it, please let me know and I'll answer your question as soon as possible. Finally, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when I release a new video. So that's all. Hope to see you on the next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.